sunny day today. We've had so much rain the last few days that it's nice to get some sunshine. So um, one of the things I want to do is I really want to kind of like dig into Robin, Elian, and Philip about what led up to this whole thing. Because in the vlogs right now, you see like all this kind of come together, but there's so much that happened in the year leading up to this that is part of the whole development of this. So I'd like to capture some of that today. Today is Sunday, still working hard. That's what we do, that's how we roll. I don't know, let's see if there's gonna be a little bit of a fun time today or if it's all work, work, work. Good morning. Hello guys. Morning, girl. Girl. I made it. Rowan is still in bed, Sean. Hey, what, what was he up all night? Coding or? What I made that is 4 a.m. I got a link to a document that he was working on. So. You guys are doing anything today, like letting loose because it's Sunday and not? Nope. No chance. Okay. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. I mean, unless. No, we'll save that for the very end. Through some magic, uh, yeah, I, I, from what I see right now, I wouldn't know where that would come from. Yeah. All good? Um, didn't have a coffee yet. No, he didn't have his coffee. He didn't have his coffee yet. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. <laughs> Spring your coconut, toss it off into the jungle and... I mean, how is it going? You seem more relaxed today. No, 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 I get less of the fuck today. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I think that's the right attitude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will. You are the main maintainer of a code. I will go and tell you like, hey, this is the change I want to make. Please review it and then merge it. Okay. And that's how we uh, commit our work, basically. I think he got you on film. Yeah, he got me when I was actually just walking out of my room, right? <laughs> I like, I was not even dressed. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think of all this rain? It's annoying, actually. Does it rain much where you live? Uh, not that much. Now in, in my hometown it's actually like 35 degrees and it's re so really, really hot, right? No That's rain. Nice. You, how did you get into programming? I think I started pretty early. So I think my first programming experience was like when I was 12 or something. Um, and what I really enjoyed about this, uh, about it, enjoyed about it that I you know, that I had, you know, endless possibilities at my fingertips, basically. So whatever I could imagine uh, to build, I could actually build just with the computer in front of me. The programming language that I started with was uh, QBasic. And then I moved to the, to the web platform. So all the typical, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript stuff. And then I think the first real programming language, if, uh, if you say so, would be, would be Perl. Mm -hmm. uh, which is not a pretty programming language, you know, some people will, di will disagree. And so I guess the, the, the programming language I feel most comfortable with would be Java, probably. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, at a, at, a certain, at a certain point, the programming language is not that important anymore because they're all kind of, you know, similar at, at, at the heart. I originally met Robin like two years ago at a big computer fair in Germany, the CBIT and uh, we were both presenting our projects at the university booth and we were actually neighbors at that booth. Just a couple of weeks after that fair, he kind of invited me to, uh, to a hackathon uh, kind of thing for his startup back then. And that's when we, yeah, I think that's when we first met and uh, from that point on we were like kind of recruiting one another for you know, each other's projects. This year at the, at the same fair, uh, we, we met again and that's when we met again, and that's when he told me uh, about this, this new thing that he was doing. And uh, yeah, now, now we're here. Coincidentally, I had started looking into this whole cryptocurrency world. Uh, so I was, you know, starting to getting myself involved in this anyways. But it, it was completely independent of, you know, of his project. So when he pitched this idea to me, I, you know, I was already, you know, looking into these kind of things. So that's also when I realized that you know, the, when I realized the potential of that idea, so it didn't take lots of, you know, um, uh, convincing. convincing, exactly, uh, to, you know, to get me on board. So, I mean, he was the one who started this all, right? So he actually um, spent months prior to us meeting at that fair, 
building like the very first prototype and I joined him like two weeks later so at the beginning of uh, the mid mid of April and uh, once we were here um, we basically started working on implementing or turning that that prototype that very early prototype into something that could be actually like the first version of that of that blockchain so we did like a probably like a 10 day really hardcore hackathon kind of thing how many hours a day programming probably 18 to 20 wow yeah really really long 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 hours so yeah we are definitely just a couple of days away from basically you know telling everybody about it I think the bigger fear is actually not telling people about it, right? Or telling people about it too late. So I think this is actually the biggest risk that we we wait too long because we want to make it better, and then someone else comes along and says, "Hey, I have a great idea," uh, and kind of you know we have to be the first one to claim this. Uh, this is actually going to change the way people think about blockchains. And it's okay because this isn't a documentary, so. It it's okay for us to even make comments to the cameraman, you know. Yes. Like, so you think it's actually like, uh, it's actually good to interact with the camera more, or just to, the, to the ignore it less? I, I think it's okay to not worry about it. If, okay. you want to, if you feel like you want to say something to the cameraman or anything, what do you think it's doing, you know? Like, I think that stuff is okay and that's what makes it unique because they're going to know there's a 15 year old kind of behind the camera eventually. Right. You watch enough of these videos and I think that's going to be part of the, the coolness of it. You know, it's like, wow, they have this kid who's making these amazing, you know, really good quality videos way out of, above his age, you know. Mm -hmm. What are you focusing on today? So Marvin, he actually made the whole thing work in Firefox. So, nice. so far, you know, we were limited to, we just supported Chrome. And because some of the very cutting edge uh, language features that we are using, uh, Firefox doesn't support that yet. And he uh, spent the day yesterday uh, transpiling our code into something that older browsers can understand. Wow. So now uh, Firefox is supported, which is like really cool. <laughs> and, okay. Uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying this actually. Uh, nice. All this kind of things. I think it's really cool. I well, like cool having you guys around. And you see yourself on camera and you, you see stuff you do, which you are not aware of, right? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now in the last video, you could actually see on the screens, you know, yeah, the first yeah, browser yeah, based yeah, blockchain yeah. and all that you did. So if so you're like, uh, you know, if, if, you're if you pay attention, attention yeah, totally. then you'll know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> the things that I enjoy the most, um, you know, having been in several kind of startup scenarios already, is the way this team jives. For me, it's the best I've ever been. I've never seen such a brotherly, yet, you know, honest. Uh, at times, it could be very direct. So Robin fits perfectly into the story because the fact that I built this co-working space created some some center of attention. And he found me online, I guess, a couple years ago. Um, he was looking, I guess, to just get away and get a change in setting, but continue to work uh, effectively. And you would have to ask him what resonated with him online initially. I think it was that I had just such a crazy simple landing page. He thought like, this guy is crazy. That He just has a photo there and that's it and he thinks he can get people. Well, I'm interested. And so that's kind of how he told me. And so he came over, he, he booked a month. And uh, the crazy thing is he ended up staying for six. He liked it so much. Um, and I felt like we bonded deeply. In that, uh, you know, literally like brothers. So like, he called me kind of almost out of the blue. Actually, he called me several times over over the time he was gone, and every once in a while he would just run an idea by me. And he said, Ilian, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And um, I have, you know, most of the time I kind of shut him down. But then this one, I listened to him and he said, and I was like, well, wait a second. Because I had also, I was an early participant in Bitcoin and also Ethereum. Um, you know, I, I, I had an open mind to it and I, I guess I had an initial quick understanding of why this could be something. And so if, obviously I tested him, I asked a bunch of questions and did some research and I said, well, he said, Ilion, I need, I need to, f to continue what I'm doing. I need to have full focus and I need support. I need somebody to have my, my back so that I can just focus on code. And, and um, I said, OK, 
okay, let's, you know, come over. Let's do it. All right, guys, so now it's nighttime, and today is actually Sunday, so what I decided to do, bring a cooler filled with some, an assortment of different, some ice creams, chocolate bars, some little stuff, and one of my most favorite desserts to make is kind of like a combination of different types of ice creams, chocolate bars, chocolate syrup, and special occasion type dessert. I had to hide all the ice creams behind the bread. Without pizza at least twice a week. All right, so the pizza just made it, and three of the main programmers, they are in a deep session right now, so we're gonna go drop off some pizza, because I think pizza makes everyone really, makes everyone happy. When they're programming, we wanna do the least we can to distract them or disturb them, because this is one of those few chances that I'll get to get inside and film a quick snip, a quick shot and I don't have to sneak around. Oh no, I'm getting so... And that was it. You can tell it's actually pretty serious, this whole thing, it's not disturbing. You get some hard time, you get some Yeah, now let's go eat some pizza. <laughs> All right, guys, so we can break away maybe, get a little surf in the morning. All right. Gonna work for you guys? Would you like dessert? Oh, uh, yeah, please, Do you want dessert? I want dessert, I always want dessert. <laughs> Let's go for dessert. If we're here, then who's behind the camera? Woo! <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Alright guys, we just finished making 12 desserts, now it's time to hand them out. Here's your dessert. I noticed when you hand someone a bowl of ice cream and chocolate, they always have a big smile on their face. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 